Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of this weekend. And uh, welcome to your daily update on XRP. Um, we're covering it again after uh, yesterday. Yesterday was actually a, a pretty weird day for XRP. Like over the course of the majority of the day, it actually was quite bearish. And then uh, fortunately, it was able in the evening to get some sort of bullish momentum together with Bitcoin, uh, which also at that point of time got bullish momentum. And then XRP was able to break to, to fully break above 50 cents, or at least it's not the best breakout. Um, it was able to break above 49 and a half cents again, which is great. Uh, um, but right now the situation for, for XRP is still like technically on the short term, at least, it's bullish. Um, on, the, on the long term, it's still very bearish. But on the short term, it's bullish. But the thing is, is that it's it's not 100% secure yet, all right? And we'll talk about that. Like, for example, right now, like, like XRP is struggling with that 100 EMA right here, which um, is a bit of a bearish confirmation, or at least a bearish indication. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about what needs to happen for, for uh, XRP to really be bullish, which in short is breaking above 51 cents. We'll talk about whether that's possible, just in general, the different scenarios from here. So that's what we'll do. Uh, before we do that, though, I do want to mention that I have my own premium trading group in which I share my own trades as signals, uh, but you also gain access to a chat room full of traders and my trading guide. So if you are interested in that, we caught a huge amount of the rallies from yesterday, uh, then consider joining. But for now, let's get right into XRP. Um, so to first take a look at some statistics, which is also what we did yesterday, because yesterday we saw some statistics showing that it was quite likely to get some sort of a some sort of a bullish breakout. And now, to be fair, the open interest and the volume have actually come down a bit or calmed down. Um, so I'm not expecting a huge breakout anymore, but still the, the, the situation for XRP really is really is un, un, unclear. Like Technically, I would say now that XRP has broken above the 28 and the 50 EMA here and that Bitcoin is also displaying bullish momentum, technically, I would say that it's most likely that XRP will be able to break above 51 cents uh, and get up towards that 52 and a half and then 53 cents level, which is the next major resistance level um, compared to 51 cents like or, or compared to 53 cents. 51 cents is absolutely not uh, that strong. But the thing is, is that Bitcoin at this point of time could go both ways. And most of XRP's bullish momentum here actually came from the bullish momentum from Bitcoin. Like if it wasn't for the for, for the bullish momentum Bitcoin got after 26,300, XRP wouldn't have been able to break above 49 and a half cents again. So it's all great, all right, that, that XRP technically is looking bullish. But if Bitcoin from here drops down below 20, 26,300, it will be over, all right? So, so personally, I would wait for a little bit more confirmation for XRP, because at this point of time, I'm, I'm just being honest with you, it's, it's a bit unclear. So the way I see the markets at this point of time is the following. I think XRP is, is stuck between some sort of support around 49.2 and 49.3 cents, and then it has this resistance above 51 cents. I would say that if XRP is able to break above 51 cents, that at least on the short term, it is bullish. All right. And we will see more bullish momentum. Um, this will probably be accompanied with bullish momentum from Bitcoin. And then on the other hand, if XRP here breaks down below its main support around 49 cents, 49 and a half cents, then it is more, more likely that it will just continue to consolidate down here and slowly start dropping down towards 47 and 46 cents again. So I would say it's best to wait for the confirmation right now. Like I said, given the technicals, given the fundamentals, it is a bit unclear what's what, what's, the, how to, what's about to happen next. I will keep you updated on that, of course. But for now, this is my take on, uh, on XRP. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.